our YouTube channel. My name is Masi and today I'm going to show you on how to make this beautiful cardigan that you have seen on the thumbnail. I will uh, work on the child uh, child's cardigan, that's the, the children's size. It can fit a three-year-old to a five-year-old and um, these are the things that you require for you to work on, uh, on this project. But if you want to learn on how to work on the adult size, the cardigan I'm wearing, uh, I suggest that you watch the video to the end because I will give a detailed explanation on how to work on it. It's pretty easy. So watch to the end and you will learn on how to make uh, the adult size also. So this is what you will need. You will need a tape measure. It's important because you need to be accurate in your measurements so that uh, the cardigan you make is well fitting. You will also need scissors. This is used to cut off the end ends after you are done weaving in and I usually use the darning needle to weave in the ends. Now I'm going to use a 2.5 millimeter crocheting hook to do the ribbings. It's the ribbing, uh, the, the, this cardigan has reading, uh, ribbings of the front, both the front and the back panels and uh, the arms, so you will need a 25 millimeter crocheting hook and I have a 3.0 millimeter crocheting hook, this one I will use to work on the other part, uh, the body of the, of the cardigan and there are four buttons here, I'm not sure if I will use three or four but uh, get 0 0.75 uh, wide the diameter of the uh, of the of the button should be around 0 0.75 um, inches wide so get the buttons that you 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 love and then today i'm going to use winter king it's a kenyan brand it's 100 percent acrylic it's this ball is 50 grams and the color of choice today is 509 509 but for my adult size, I used 508. Uh, we also have color white, it's number 525. So you will need uh, three of this white color and uh, roughly four to four and just a little bit of uh, the fifth. But uh, it depends with uh, how wide you want the ribbing, the front ribbing to be. So with four or let's say to be on the safer side, five pieces of uh, this rust orange, you will have finished. So welcome and let us learn together. For this tutorial, we are going to work um, the, a chest size of 24. So when you're taking measurements, take the measurements of uh, the chest size and uh, let, let, let it not be tight, let it be loosely fitting because it's a cardigan. So we will divide 24 by 2 which is 12. So for the back panel I will work 12 inches yeah, as the width. So we are going to begin on uh, making the ribbing and to start you need to make a slip knot. So this is how I do mine. Then chain 15 using the smaller hook, the 2.5 millimeter crocheting hook. Yarn over, pull through. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So we have a chain. Work a single crochet on the second chain from your hook. So this is the first. Into the second, work a single crochet, insert your hook, yarn over, insert a hook, yarn over and pull through. So this is it, you yarn over, you pull through these two. This is how a single crochet is made. You insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through these two uh, loops. So work uh, single crochets up to the last chain. So at the end of this, you will have 14 single crochets because the first one, uh, we skipped it, it's the turning chain. So you will have 14 single crochets. So this is 14. We chain one and then turn your work. Now in this row, we are going to work on the back loops only. The back loops only. So you insert your hook on the back loop, yarn over, 
pull through yarn over pull through these two into the next you work on the back loop you pull through insert into the next yarn over pull through these two loops so work single crochets on the back loops only Now you're going to repeat this second row until you have uh, 62 rows of these single crochets but worked on the back loops only. So you chain one and on the back loop you work a single crochet. Yeah, so this is what I mean by repeating uh, this second, second row. Now why do I choose 62? Uh, when you're working this pattern you need uh, multiples of 4 plus 2. So for 62 it means I have 15 multiples of 4 which is 60 plus 2 more that gets to 62. So whichever size you're working on ensure that you have multiples of uh, 4 plus 2. So work up to the 62nd uh, row and then you will come back. So I have done 62 62 uh, rows. Now we are going I'm going to work across the rows. I'm going to work across the rows and uh, I will have to change my hook to the bigger sized hook the 3.0 millimeter crocheting hook you chain one and single crochet into every row across so at the end of it you should be having 62 single crochets so into every row a single crochet into the next a single crochet like that up to the end and confirm that you have 62 single crochets so i've done the 62 single crochet uh, uh, single crochets now i'm going to introduce this new color the white color in our next round so this is what i usually do in the last single crochet i don't uh, pull uh, yarn over and pull through through these uh, the last two loops so what i do i Put my yarn like this and then pull through the white. That is how I introduce another uh, another yarn color. So we are going to ensure that we are moving up with these uh, colors because I don't want us to cut. We are going to alternate the colors so I don't want us to cut the threads after every, every cluster is done. So what I usually do, you wrap it so that it's, it moves a step higher. So chain one. And then chain the second one but before you do the second chain you wrap the orange and then you make a second chain so we have two beginning chains wrap the orange yarn again and then turn your work this thing uh, two chains work as the beginning double crochet throughout this project so you skip the next single crochet and into the next three work double crochets so you insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the last two pull through these two sorry and then pull through this last two so this is how double crochets are made and into the skipped stitch work a single crochet then pull it to the size of the double crochets yarn over pull through these two we will do it this one more time you skip the next stitch and into the next three you work double crochets and then three the skipped stitch here we work a single crochet elongate it to the size of the double crochets and then pull through these two loops showing you the last time you skip the next stitch and into the next three you work double crochets and three double crochets and into the skipped you work a single crochet pull it long enough to be the size of the double crochets worked yarn over pull through these two now you will repeat this pattern up to the end of the row so into this last uh, single crochet we need to work 
a double crochet so we work a double crochet and this is it in the next in all the rows that are coming up we are going to do a repeat of this row so chain two turn your work this acts as the first double crochet skip the second double crochet and work into the next three double crochets so you're working three double crochets uh, in the next three uh, previous double crochets into the skipped space you work a single crochet and then extend it to the size of the double crochets skip the next and into the next three work double crochets two and three and into the skipped stitch you work a single crochet pull it to be the size of the double crochets yarn over pull through I will show you one last time yarn over skip this next uh, stitch and then work into the next three double crochets you work double crochets into the next previous three double crochets and then into the skipped stitch you work a single crochet and then elongate it to the size of the double crochets so this is what you will do up to the end of this of this row now into the last double crochet which is this turning chain we are going to work a double crochet so this is what we will do we will yarn over pull through these first two loops but for the last two loops we will carry uh, our orange yarn up and use it to work the last two uh, loops of the double crochet and then we will wrap the white yarn up and make one chain wrap it again and make the second chain and then we will wrap it and turn our work so we have three uh, we have two chains which is the beginning double crochet and then so we will skip the first the second uh, stitch and work into the next three stitches the double crochets and then into the skipped space here the stitch we work a single crochet pull it up to the size of the double crochets yarn over pull through skip the next work into the next three double crochets you work double crochets into them and then into the skipped space the stitch here you work a single crochet pull it to the size of the double crochets yarn over pull through these two in short we are repeating the first row that we worked so we will do a repeat of this row until we have a height of 13 so for my case I'm going to do um, repeats of the white so I work two rows of white then two rows of orange two rows of white and then two rows of orange so let us work and see how many of these interchanges will add up to 13 inches of the height of uh, this cardigan so I have done 12 interchanges of the colors that is 24 rows of this pattern 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I've done 24 rows and the measure plus the ribbing that is, um, let's say roughly 14. So 13, 14 is fine. 13, 14 is fine. Yeah. So this is what I have done. And for the ribbing, I forgot to give the measurements. We had done a ribbing of, let's say, 10.5 because it has now stretched. When you're working on it, it's roughly 10.5. And then when you work, because we wanted 12, we cannot work an exact of 12. The ribbing should be a little bit smaller, um, an inch or more, between 2 and 1 inch more, because it stretches, it gives it... A nice stretch and also because we're working with a smaller hook when we are going to work on this uh, other side with a bigger hook it will uh, broaden up so work a ribbing of 10 10.5 to 11 inches and then the upper part will get to 12 so we have 12 inches for this upper part so we are now going to work on front panels for the front panel we are supposed to work 12 inches like the back panel 
this is 12 inches but for this one we will work two sides huh? we will work a smaller piece for this side and a smaller piece for the other side so we are going to divide 12 by 2 and then work a ribbing of um, 5 inches do you understand why we did 5 inches? We are doing 5 inches. It's because um, we are using a smaller hook to make the ribbing and uh, that ribbing stretches. So we will do 5 so that when we go to the to the pattern up here, we will do 5 so that when we go to the pattern up here, it will uh, stretch to around 6. Yeah, the concept is the same for the back panel that we did. So I'm going to make a slip knot and then chain 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and into the second chain from the hook I will make a double a single crochet and into every chain I will make a single crochet so at the end of this you should have 14 single crochets chain one and turn your work now in this row and for the next 25 rows we will be working on the back loops only so you work on this back loop here insert your hook here i don't know if it's clear yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two into the back loop work a single crochet into the back loop a single crochet so we're working into back loops only and working single crochets chain one turn your work and into the back loop of this uh, single crochet work a single crochet and into every back loop of the previous single crochets we had worked in short we are repeating this row this second row here until we have a total of 26 rows it is 26 rows because as we said earlier it's multiples of 4 plus 2 so 6 multiples of 4 is 24 plus 2 26 so a total of 26 rows I've done 26 rows 26 and uh, let's see how it measures this is 4 point let's say 4.25 uh, inches now we are going to change our hook and work uh, across across the rows. Yes, so you chain one single crochet into this row because you are single crocheting across across the rows. So into every row that you worked, make a single crochet. Into every row you worked, make a single crochet. So in total, we will have 26 single crochets. Count to be sure that you have 26 single crochets at the end of this. So I have 26 single crochets. Into the last one, do not yarn over and pull through this loop. So leave the two loops undone and then we are introducing the color white like we did in the back panel this is what you do you use the white to do the last two loops of the orange color and then we will wrap the orange over the white because you want to pull it closer up so you chain one wrap it round again chain the second and wrap it up again now at this point you turn your work we have two chains worked here we have these two chains and these two chains work as the beginning double crochet and throughout the project so skip the next and work into the next three you work three double crochets and then into this skipped stitch work a single crochet 
and pull it to the size of the double crochets. Skip the next and into the next three, two and three, you work double crochets. Into the skipped stitch, work a single crochet, pull it up. We are repeating what we did. So interchange the colors one more time. Interchange the colors. White, work two rows of white, then two rows of rust, rust orange, then white and alternate them as we did with the back panel. And for this one also, we will do 12 um, alter, altercations. Eh? Yeah, something. I think that is English. We will change uh, the colors. We will have 12 interchanges of these colors. So work 24 rows and then we will be back at the end. So I have done. This is the ribbing. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 interchanges of color which is 24 rows in total. You measure. They should be the same size uh, as yeah roughly 14 as the back panel so this is it and uh, they are 15 they are five 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 inches they're five inches uh, wide and why did we do this uh, why did I make them five inches wide I made them five inches wide because there will be this two inches space here that I will work a front ribbing a ribbing like this i will work it here so it will cover roughly two or more inches so make the front panels just a few pieces um, smaller a few inches smaller we are working on the arms so just as we had done the ribbings of all the other panels that we have been working it's a repetition actually you chain 15 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And into the second chain from the hook and all through, work single crochets. Chain 1, turn your work, and work single crochets into the back loops only. Now repeat this row until you have uh, a ribbing uh, that is uh, 5 inches, a ribbing that is 5 inches. This is the wrist size of uh, the size of cardigan I'm making. My daughter's wrist, my daughter's arms are, are pretty tiny so make a ribbing that fits well just fits like a watch yeah a ribbing that fits perfectly well so if I was to do mine I would make a, a, a ribbing that is six uh, inches uh, wide that is what I could make because the ribbing is stretchy so if you make it like this it will stretch when you are putting it on so let it fit well but it will stretch to fit through your arm so this is five, five inches of the wrist. I will change my hook size and then I will make single crochets across the rows. So the total of this, uh, for those ones who would like to know, I did 30, 30 rows of this. That is four mul seven multiples of four, which is 28 plus two, which is 30. So single crochet across, chain one, make a single crochet here and into every row that you had worked so in total you will have 30 single crochets we are going to change the color we will not we will not finish off this single crochet we will use the white color to do that now unlike the other parts we've been working now we will start making increases so in the next eight rows we will make increases at the beginning and at the end of the row so this is what we will do 
uh, wrap the orange yarn like this and make two, two chains two chains and then wrap it back Yeah, so we have wrapped it back so turn your work this works as the first double crochet but now because we are making an increase we will work a double crochet into the foot of this chain too so make a double crochet and into the next you skip and into the other three you work double crochets into the skipped work a single crochet skip the next and into the next three, work three double crochets. Into the skipped, work a single crochet. So repeat this pattern up to the end of this row. So into the last single crochet we will have we will make two double crochets one and two so we will have two double crochets here and two double crochets at the beginning chain two turn your work and work a double crochet at the foot of the chain two we are making increases as we said in every uh, every row at the end and at the beginning into the next stitch work a double crochet now into this cluster here maintain the pattern as much as you can so skip one and then into the next three work uh, double crochets single crochet into the skipped and then repeat this up to the end of the row into the next double crochet here this one work a double crochet and into this turning chain we said it works as a double crochet it works as a double crochet so into the turning chain okay, sorry work two double crochets so we are making increases so we have three double crochets here and three at the beginning uh, sorry we forgot to pull up this rust yarn so finish off like this make a single crochet uh, a chain sorry and a second chain and then turn your work into the foot work a double crochet so we've made an increase at the beginning into the next work a double crochet and into the next a double crochet so we have four double crochets which is the, the, we said the chain two works as a double crochet so I'm counting it as a double crochet so we have four double crochets in total um, skip this and maintain the pattern as much as possible single crochet into the skipped and do this up to the end of the round of the row so into the last three double crochets work double crochets so one two the third one is this turning chain so into the turning chain work two double crochets so we've made an increase here and the other side so we have four now into the next row you will chain two and then you turn your work at the footing we were to because we're increasing we are supposed to make a double crochet but for this we will skip this uh, space we are assuming it's uh, an, an, an unworked stitch skip it and into the next three work double crochets two and three now into this space that we said we are assuming is unworked because we will have to increase you work a single crochet and wrap it like that skip the next and work the pattern as you have been working it uh, through the project that is it so do this up to the end so into this unworked uh, 
these four here we are introducing a cluster you skip one and into the next double crochet make a double crochet into the next work another double crochet and into the turning chain here work a double crochet go into the unworked space work a single crochet pull through but because we are supposed to make an increase at the end of this work a double crochet into the turning chain again so this is what we have this is what we have now repeat this four rows one two three four one more time repeat these four rows one more time and then when you're done i will give you more directions one more time the four rows so i got carried away and finished the whole arm but it's simple i will explain it to you remember we did the four rows and i told you to do a repeat of this here these are the four so the increases end here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rows of increases on both sides. Now for the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For the next 16 rows, you are not making an increase. You will not make an increase for the next 16 rows. In total, you will have 24 rows like every other panel that we have done. And... The length is roughly 14, 13 point something, roughly 14. So do this two, I did two. So do the two arms and next I'm going to show you how to join all these parts together. These are the arms, these are the front panels, remember the small pieces that we made for the front panels and then this is the back panel. Now I'm going to show you how to join this together. So we are going to join uh, the front panels with the back panels first. We are going to join them at the shoulder here. And this is yeah, at the shoulder. So we will do it halfway. You know, work up to this part. And then up to this. So that is what we are going to do. Now for you to join these uh, pieces together, the back panel, uh, the wrong side should be facing downwards. The wrong side faces downwards. This wrong size, side faces downwards. And the right, uh, the, uh, for the front panels, the wrong side will face upwards. The wrong sides will face upwards for the front panels. For the back panel, the wrong side will face downwards. How do you know that... This is the right or the wrong uh, side. For me, uh, this uh, ribbing is the one that shows me. Uh, this part that is floating around, you know, the the last, first and last rows that are floating around, show me that is the last. But these ones that are well settled, it shows me that it is the right side. Though, whichever you choose, it's fine because they are identical. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine with me. Now we are going to join these shoulders. And I'm going to begin from this side. Take your yarn. I have chosen to use uh, the rust, this orange rust. Uh, insert your hook into this double crochet here and into the turning chain of uh, the back panel. Then chain one and work a single crochet. Into the next stitch, insert your hook and the one below, make a single crochet. Insert into the next and the one below, a single crochet. Next, one below, single crochet. And next, one below, single crochet. So the first cluster is done. The second, you do the same. Ensure that they are fitting well so that uh, your shoulders are not twisted. Just fit, fit them well, fit them well. Good. And into the third cluster, do the same thing. Join into this, and this is the final stitch of this. Uh, clusters so we said we are joining them halfway so these are three 
and these are three unworked. Finish off your yarn and cut it off. This side again, so we are not working these last three clusters here, we will work this ones on this side so because we want the openings to be like this yes so I will insert my hook here and into this back panel here introduce this yarn chain one and work a single crochet into the next and the one below join with a single crochet the next and the one below work a single crochet and the one below a single crochet so do this up to the end it's becoming windy so I hope it will not distract you very much but it's it's a little windy where I am single crochet single crochet so you do this up to the end and remember to work into the turning chains yes so this is our final stitch chain one cut your yarn and then finish it off you know first any 12 finish it off like this so we have joined these two uh, shoulder parts the front and the back panel we have joined them at the shoulder part and this is what we got we will return this to the wrong side and now we want to add the arms we want to join the arms I will start from this side lay your work like this the wrong side facing upwards this is the wrong side it's facing upwards and the wrong side for the arms facing upwards also we need to identify the middle in these uh, arms so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven clusters so that means five and a half five and a half and five and a half is here I will just use this yarn as I will use it as a uh, a stitch marker so I'm joining this one here uh, so that it's it's easier to work on so this is it now we are going to uh, put a stitch marker here so that it keeps it uh, safe uh, so this is how we will align align them this half bit of the arm will go with this orange uh, that we had worked here then this cluster with the white the next with the orange next with white next with orange and the next with white so it means we will put our stitch marker here for us to know where to to end We will also do this for this other side so the half of this will cater for this orange part the next with white next with orange next with white next with orange white uh-huh so it means we will begin here we are putting them uh, we are tucking them safely so that we can uh, we know how to work where to work so bring your yarn I'm going to use the rust to join and bring it here chain one and make a single crochet into the same uh, chains that I have worked here I'm going to use single crochets to join these parts so this cluster here and this white part here are supposed to align so that means I will single crochet uh, into this and then into the space below here this white will act as a stitch so a single crochet into the next 
I will work into this middle bump here. The next one I will work into this space and the last of this uh, cluster I will work it into the interchange here, the color, the bump where the interchange has happened. Then into the next cluster again, so here and into the space. This one into the hump here, this into the space and then this one into this color interchange. So we are done with the second cluster. So in the next cluster that will be the same thing. You work through the blocks like that and then into the interchange on this last one. So we are done with three. Two more to go. Into the space, into the hump, into the space and into the color interchange. Into this next cluster we will do the same thing. Into the space Sorry about that. Into the bump and then in the next we work into the space and the next into the color interchange here. And then for these two stitches here we will spread them like this. We work in the bump and then for this one where we had placed the stitch marker here we work into this other bump here. So we are skipping the spaces. I just want to finish them off. Uh, this yarn end also. And then into the next. We said we are working into the bumps. So into this bump. No. Uh, next it's the... I'm getting confused. But worry not. Yeah, it's into this bump. You work a single crochet. I'm trying to finish off uh, this one. It's done. Into the next, we will work into this uh, interchange here. That is where we will work our single crochet. Now, with these ones, we will work like we were working on this side. So the first into the space, the next into the bump, the third into the space, the final into the color interchange. So do this up to this end. So this is what we've done with the arm. I worked all the way to this other side where there was a stitch marker. Now I want to join like this and work on the arm down to this part. From this point down to this side. So this is what I will do. Align them well. The white and the white, the orange and the orange. And then make a single crochet into these spaces and into this hump, this one that you see here. Do it into this other hump down here. Then we have a space, work into this space down here. We have where the colors are changing here. Work that one also below. Into the space, into the space, into the hump, into the hump, into the space, into the space. And then the colors are changing, this hump where the colors are changing, and this one below. So now do this, eh? join this arm to this far end, cut off the yarn and weave in the ends and then come to this side 
and join them too, like this. And then join the other arm, we will meet after you are done uh, joining these parts. So I have joined the sides here and the arms, I joined them, both sides. So I am done joining. Now I want to work on the hoodie. I want to work on the hoodie. So you turn your work. For you to start working on the hoodie, you turn your work uh, right side now facing out. Like this. And then place the cardigan facing you. Like this. Now we are going to alternate the colors like we have been doing. So after the rust orange, I'm going to use the white. Okay. The white here. You join your yarn into this uh, turning chain. Work two chains. One, two. And then work normally, like skip the next and into the next three. Work double crochets and three. And then wrap a single crochet into the unworked stitch that we had skipped. Into the next, we will do the same. Skip one, work into the next three. two and three and then single crochet into the skipped stitch skip one work three double crochets and then single crochet into the skipped space here I want us to make uh, one cluster into this into this space here you know the joining sorry the joining part here I want us to see how we can spread um, the stitches evenly. So I think for me in this space and in this other space, we will work the two uh, stitches. Okay, let us try. I will skip this part, work a double crochet here, and then into this space here, work two double crochets. And then into this space that we had skipped, wrap around. And then keep now working normally. You see this one? You skip it. And then you work two, three double crochets. And then single crochet into this skipped space. In short, we are trying to maintain the pattern. So work this up to this part, up to the end here. So we got to the end of this here. Now we are going to work another row of white before we alternate the color. So I change two, you skip one and double crochet into the next three and then single crochet into the skipped space. You will get here change color and work for 10 inches eh? from this color white work 10 inches keep measuring so that you know how many of these color interchanges you have made when i'll be done i will come back and tell you how many rows i worked so i have done the hoodie part we said we were working 10 inches so let me confirm yeah, it's 9.5, so almost 10 actually when you try to stretch it well, it's 10 and there are about. So I did one, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I did 10 interchanges, so that is 20 uh, rows. Of this pattern now I want us to join the hoodie we st we're still using the 
single crochet method of joining the hoodie so you fold it you fold it here twice like this the wrong side facing facing upward this is the wrong side it's facing you and then put your hook into the turning chain and into the stitch that you are working on pull through chain one insert your hook into the same uh, spaces that you had in, uh, worked make a single crochet into the next and into the next in the back uh, panel make a single crochet yeah so we are we are also doing this using single crochets it's very easy just like we have been doing ensuring that uh, they match well the front and the back panel uh, fit well so that you don't see a disconnect also don't forget to and work on the on the right side please work on the on the wrong side facing outside so that you don't end up with this uh, uh, ribbing here you don't end up with this line of single crochets on 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 the right side so you finish off and leave a tail long enough to do the weaving so this is it so this is our hoodie and this is our sweater here now we want to do the ribbing all round uh, uh, this hoodie we want to do a ribbing it goes all round up to this um, hoodie and all the way uh, down to this part with the right side facing you the front the front panel facing you turn your work like this and with the orange rust uh, color yarn add your uh, join your yarn here at this far end we will be working round up to this point so you join your yarn we are going to make a ribbing but for this ribbing we will not use the 2.5 millimeter crocheting hook for this one we will use the 3 millimeter crocheting hook so chain one and make a single crochet into every chain here work a single crochet into every chain I'm working through uh, both loops I'm working through both loops so make single crochets and then into this part the footing of where, where where the color changed you know the row that we did of single crochets work a single crochet there and then now into every um, how do you call it every row now every space of this eh, you'll be working two single crochets so two single crochets here you skip the bump and then two single crochets into the next skip this color interchange bump here into the space work two into the next space work two in short we are working into every every row two single crochets these rows eh? every row you work two single crochets so work these two single crochets up to this end here work single crochets round up to this end so this is the end this is where we've worked up to I will chain one and turn uh, and turn my work like this now in this row and the next uh, four rows I will be working on the back loops only like we had been doing the ribbing you work single crochets on the back loops a single crochet into the back loop
single crochet into the back loop so do this and for the next four rows so you will have a total of six rows that you have worked on the back loops only and then we will you will come back so that you can introduce uh, the button holes work a total of six rows of these single crochets working on the back loops only single crochets on the back loops only so after the six rows of single crochets on the seventh I made uh, the button holes I got carried away and worked uh, the whole cardigan without showing you but I can explain it it's very simple so I worked six rows and then on the seventh at this uh, intervals eh? on this uh, rust I skipped this and on this one I made uh, a button hole so this is our first button hole on this one then our second here and I skipped this, this is our third. So that is how I spaced my buttonholes, I have three. Now this is what I did. Uh, at the buttonhole, you will work normally as we have been working, single crochets on the back loops only. And then when you get to the middle of this uh, color here, you chain one and then skip one uh, single crochet and single crochet in the next. So that is how you make a buttonhole. Now, in round eight when you're working you will you have to remember to work into the single crochet work a single crochet into the chain the, the chain that you had made for the buttonhole so that makes uh, a very uh, nice buttonhole here so in total i did nine rows of single crochets but you can make this ribbing as big as you'd like to have it so now i'm going to show you um to, to, to give you the t details on how to make the adult size of this cardigan. Now for those who have not subscribed, please subscribe, share to your friends, with your friends and invite them to watch with us so that you can keep learning together. So for the adult cardigan, I'm going to uh, just write something down, get a paper and a, a pen so that you can write the measurements and the chains are down. Uh, we are working them the way we worked, we are working it the way we worked the, the little girl's size and uh, so we will begin with the back panel and for the back panel uh, we have a ribbing so for the ribbing you will chain uh, 15 and then you single crochet through so at the end you will have 14 single crochets now for this ribbing you will have to work 72 rows 72 rows of the single crochets on the back loops only after that turn and work across the rows single crochet across the row so you will have 72 single crochets at the end of it and then uh, begin the, the pattern the normal pattern uh, this one so you begin it and then you will work for 40 rows 40 rows and that is roughly 20 inches of the ribbing and up to the end it's roughly 20 to 22 inches depending on uh, on your uh, how tight you crochet or how, how loosely you crochet then you will go to the front panels my handwriting is not interesting but it helps me uh, gather my thoughts instead of just narrating it to you uh, the front panel we will work to the left and the right side and um, the size of this cardigan uh, is 38 uh, something I forgot to tell you it's 38 inches the chest size it's 38 inches so the back panel we worked uh, 19 inches and then for the front panel we are to work 19 inches so one side one side of it has eight one is eight we said uh, let's say the left and the right so I did eight eight adding up to 16 now the remaining is the ribbing the three uh, inches remaining will be the front uh, front ribbing where we will put the 
button holes. So I, I hope you understand up to that place. Now for the front panels, uh, you start the ribbing also, the, the same way you are making uh, the back panel. You chain 15 and then you start single crocheting from the second chain from your, your hook. So at the end you will have 14 single crochets. Now for the ribbing, work um, 34 rows of this ribbing, of these single crochets on the back loops only. Work 34 rows and then uh, now when you turn to the other side to work on this uh, on this side now on this other pattern uh, you will work uh, 40 rows like you did on the back panel and all this is adding up to 20 to 22 inches how it depends with how long you want your cardigan to be so for both sides you will make them identical and for the arms they will also be identical uh, you make a ribbing for the arms ensure that you measure uh, your wrist size and make uh, single crochets in uh, that add up to uh, you know the the inches that you your wrist uh, measures and then after that I started working on this pattern at the arms let me show you the arms so this is what I did. I think for the arms, let me confirm, I did, I did 30 for the arms, yeah, for the ribbing, I did uh, 30, uh, 30 single crochets on the back loops only. That is what I did. And then I started uh, increasing immediately as in at the first uh, row of double crochets, this one. That is where I began the increase and I made increases 16 times. In short, for the next 16 rows, I'm increasing um, at the beginning and at the end of the arm. So it builds up, that builds it up up to around this place. And then after this place now, you don't uh, make increases. And then I worked a total of... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 by 2 is 34. So I did a total of 34 rows for the arms. Now let's come to joining. When you're joining um, uh, the sweater. Uh, when we join, we said we join halfway for the shoulder parts. These front panels we join halfway, so I did four here, joined the four and left this four unmarked for the hoodie to to be made. So for the, for this hoodie part, I worked like uh, the child uh, the child size, so I worked, but I worked for twelve inches. For my little girl, I did 10, 10 inches for the tutorial that we. We just finished I did 10 inches but for mine this size I did 12 inches and then I joined at the uh, end I joined with single with a single crochet and then for the button holes I also did what I did with uh, my little girl's uh, cardigan for the first trust color here, I made a button hole. That is after working six rows of single crochets. So on the seventh, that is where I got to this uh, color. Uh, chained, uh, skip, uh, chained one and then skipped one and continued with the pattern. So I worked here, 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 here and here. So in, in total, I have five button holes. I was skipping one rust and working on the next rust. One rust and then on the next I make a button hole. So that is it. It is very easy. It's as similar as the child size. You only have to manipulate the inches worked, the length worked. That is all that you work with. But everything else is the same. So these are the buttons I put for this cardigan. And I hope that you learned something i know it was not uh, it might not be very clear but if you watched the <coughs> the little girl size the tutorial of uh, the girl size i know you will understand what i'm talking about so all the best in your crocheting 
please subscribe to our channel visit our social media platforms in facebook we have a group and a page visit us there uh, in instagram we go by the name i think give me life africa underscore uh, and then in twitter it's also at give me life africa so visit us uh, take photos share with us so that we get encouraged thank you very much and bye bye